In my last video, I discussed the 1260 days and then the end. I explained how the 1260 days is just a time period of the suffering of the children of Israel, which we are currently experiencing right now. 1260 days is an interpretation. It is not an exact time. The Bible uses several references to describe it, and then the interpreters just assumed it was 1260 days. But that's not necessarily the volume of time or the amount of time. So let's read the verses that I went over, and then let's introduce new verses to further strengthen the point and then show you that this time period is all about the suffering of the children of Israel. The verses I brought up in the last video, and you should go back and watch it. If you haven't seen it, please go back and watch it first. Revelation 11, 11. After three and a half days, the spirit of light from Elohim entered into them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Now this is about the two witnesses, and I explained how this is just an analogy of Israel in some other videos. The next verse that I brought up was Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, to think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand unto a time, times, and the dividing of time. This person, who is the Antichrist, who is already come and gone, will wear out the saints of the Most High. I showed that he belongs to the fourth beast. The fourth beast is the person in charge of wearing out the saints of the Most High. And they will be given into his hands to a time, times, and the dividing of times. That's the same thing as in the two witnesses. Then I brought in Revelation chapter 12, 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nourished for a time, times, and half a time from the face of the serpent. This is about the woman clothed with the 12 stars. 12 stars is Israel. She's Israel. People are questioning whether she's Israel or not. There's nothing to question. It's obvious. She's Israel. The 12 stars represent the 12 tribes of Israel. The next verse that I brought up, which was also about the same woman, Revelation 12, verse 6, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared of Elohim, that they should feed there 2,203 square days. Let's introduce two more verses to show that this is definitely Israel. Daniel chapter 12, verse 7, And I heard the man clothed in linen, which is upon the waters of the river. And he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and an half. When he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all things shall be finished. When you read Daniel 11, that bleeds into chapter 12. It's the same story. It's about the Greek kingdom, which bleeds right into the fourth beast. And that's why it says when he has the power to scatter the holy people. And we see that it's for a time, times, and a half. The same amount of time. And then we can bring in Revelation chapter 11, verse 2. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not. For it is given to the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot for forty and two months. Twelve months is a year, twenty-four months is two years, and then six months is half a year. So we see the same numbering. Time, times, and a half. Forty-two months, twelve hundred and sixty days, three and a half days, time, times, and a half are all the same thing. And when you read all of these stories and study them side by side, get two Bibles, get two screens, however you want to study it, and you can see that it's about the suffering of the children of Israel. That's why it says, measure not the court, because they shall tread Jerusalem. In other words, they are running Jerusalem for 40 and two months, which is the time of the suffering of the children of Israel. Let's introduce other verses and let's put more meat on the bones, as they say, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their Elohim shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame and by captivity and by spoil many days. They're going to be suffering for many days through captivity, which is slavery. Now when they shall fall, they shall be helping with a little help. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries, and some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them white, even unto the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed. We see that the time of the end is the day that the Most High is chosen, when they will be purged and made white. From that day is going to be a period of suffering. It says that they shall be what? Helping a little bit. We connect that with the woman. Revelation chapter 12, verse 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of Elohim, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. So she's fed there, in other words, helped there. 
That's what Daniel says in, in chapter 11. says she will be helping a little bit. In Revelation 12, 14, the woman was given two wings of a great eagle where she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, times, and a half a time from the face of the serpent. She's protected from the serpent. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. When you read Daniel chapter 11, you go right into 12. It's the same story, even though it's divided by chapters, but it's the same story continued. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that is found written in the book. This time is the worst time for the children of Israel. We connect this into the New Testament to understand that this time is the worst time ever. Matthew chapter 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor shall be. We connect that with what I just read in the book of Daniel. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even at that time. We connect those two. To sum this all up, when we read the story about Daniel when the fourth beast, the woman clothed with the sun, the moon, and the stars, the two witnesses. This is all about them coming to persecute the children of Israel. And these four beasts that Daniel saw are, will hold the children of Israel captive until the end. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.